Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some cookies for you. We have the Tate's Bake Shop Toasted Vanilla Cappuccino Cookies. And they have the Dewey's Bakery Doozies. Uh, these are the double chocolate and the mint chocolate. The Doozies were $3 a bag at the Fresh Market and the Tate's were $6.69 at the Fresh Market. The Tate's are a 6.5 ounce, 184 gram bag. Mine are 5.8 ounce and they're uh, 164 grams. Yeah, so not much difference not for that. Not much difference for, for almost that. twice as much. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a big price difference. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. You get two of these packages in the bag. These are out for spring. It says limited edition toasted vanilla cappuccino cookies. Signature thin crispy cookies combining the best of ingredients and a passion for baking. Seven servings in the container. There's two cookies. So there's 14 cookies in the bag for $6.69. And they are two cookies or 130 calories. What is this supposed to be? Toasted vanilla cocoa. Hmm. They have kind of a burnt flavor. They do. That's the toasted part. I guess so. It's like a burnt, and then the cappuccino comes through, so it's like a burnt coffee. Like you've put coffee in a coffee pot and you've left it on too long and it's got that, you know, it's burnt all the stuff out of the pot. That's kind of the flavor it has. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't like those. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, they're kind of bitter. Um, Kevin, it, it takes a lot for Kevin to like a coffee flavor anyway, I think. I think it needs to have, for Kevin to enjoy it more, it really needs to have a lot of sweetness to, yeah. back, to cup, back it up, or it uh -huh. needs to be covered, smothered in chocolate. I don't think chocolate. Or something. Those. <laughs> um, I really like them. Yeah, no, I, no. I do. I really like them. Um, this is one of those that you don't need. I often I'll say this would be great with a cup of coffee or, or tea or milk or whatever. This isn't something I would want with my coffee because it already tastes like coffee. It literally tastes like I've had um, a sip of coffee. Uh, I think it has a really nice flavor. It is, um, it is um, t the toasted flavor. It tastes more baked, like it's baked longer. But I like that. Yeah, it just comes across as bitter and burnt. Yeah, <laughs> so it, it's just going to depend on what kind of coffee person you are, whether you really want that coffee flavor or not. Right. Um, I think they're nice. I think it's. It's kind of an interesting choice for a spring cookie. I know. Because a spring, for me at least, spring usually is something lighter and brighter and... Fresh um, flavors and stuff Yeah, like this is um, a little heavier. Mm. Uh, I would never associate coffee with spring. No, I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, you can, of course, we drink coffee every day. Right. Yeah, but that's not a flavor you generally associate with spring. Right. So I, I think, I guess they were just trying to do something a little different. different. I like it, you know. I, and I don't. You'll I, have to just try it. They're, uh, they're very crunchy cookies, too, by the way. Yes, they're thin, crispy cookies. These were not on the, uh, in the aisle with the regular cookies. These were on in a basket. The Fresh Market does a lot of baskets because they're fancy. And so these were in a basket back by like the milk and the butter and all that stuff. That's where these were in a random wow. basket. So were these. These so were on display were these. back these, there too. These have driven me crazy. I posted, uh, when I found these, um, I posted, it, it's months ago, I feel like, that I've held on to these cookies for months in the cabinet waiting to try them because I've been waiting to get the third bag. There's a third doozies. And I think it, it's a blue bag. I know it's white with blue. And I believe it's just milk chocolate. Well, they got these in at the Fresh Market. They only got these two. Never had the blue at all. And I kept waiting. I would go in every single weekend and look for that blue bag. Instead of getting the blue bag, these 
Just the, sold out. They just sold out. Yes. Yeah. So they would get less and less. And I'm thinking, surely whoever's distributing for Dewey, surely they will restock. They never came back. They dropped them off and left, and they never came back to Kentucky again. And so we've never gotten those. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go out and try them. We're just going to go for it. These are the double chocolate layered cookies. 100% real ingredients, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no synthetic colors. Made with real chocolate. Five servings, three cookies. So there's 15 cookies in here. So there shouldn't be that big of a discrepancy in the prices. It's, I mean, it's- There's 14 of those. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it, it's just crazy, the, the, the price difference. And these are sandwich cookies. Uh, this uh, three cookies are 150 calories. But these were back in that same area as the Tate's. The only thing is, the Tate's were in stock the last time we went, and the Dewey's were completely sold out. Okay. They're a little thinner. Not much thinner, though. They've been in business since 1930, Dewey's has. wonder how long Tate's has been in business. They're not that much smaller, honestly. Southampton. Usually it tells you, we've been in business... A le uh, no, 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 it doesn't give a date. Well, shoot. Usually it gives a date. Okay. So this is just double chocolate. I like that flavor. It's not, it's a nice chocolate flavor without being like really sweet chocolate. Mm. I like that. I like and the it's got texture. A, it's got a softer crunch. These, mm. these are kind of hard. Um, whereas these are kind of a softer crunch. They um, really nice. Yeah, I love um, I love the uh, the crunch on the outside, but then you get that soft center mm -hmm. and it's also like a chocolate ganache or a, a truffle or something. Yeah, it's so nice, and I do love that rich. It's a rich chocolate. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, it makes you feel like you're eating something really expensive, and it was three dollars mm -hmm. for the bag. Um, I yeah, like I'd that really flavor. The, I'd much rather eat those chocolate ones than those cappuccino ones. <laughs> these, um, these I think would would uh, be pl pleasing to anybody. Mm -hmm. and, if you, know, you like it, chocolate, if at you all. like chocolate, there's nothing offensive about mm -hmm. them at all. Very yeah, easy nice. to eat. Um, and three cookies for 150 calories. I, I think and they're that's pretty really good. good. Like I said, they're pretty decent size. Mm -hmm. So I would get those again. Okay, now these are the mint, and these are three cookies or 140 calories. Yeah, you knew I was going to do that. Nope. Luckily, I keep my handy dandy scissors. <laughs> Not, sometimes you can pull them apart. Sometimes you can. Up. These no. Oh, okay. So these these are white. Hmm. Mm, so very and I'm thinking if we had been able to get the, the milk chocolate for you, I'm thinking the milk chocolate were a white cookie too. Mm. Um, so mint chocolate layered cookies. That's a nice mint without being like too much mint. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you're left with a little bit of mint uh, flavoring after you've eaten it, but it's not. Honestly, it ridiculous. it amazes me how much it tastes like a thin mint, a Girl mm -hmm. Scout. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, and then um, I think Keebler calls them like grasshoppers or something yeah. like that. The reason it surprises me that it tastes that uh, strongly like a thin mat is because those are uh, enrobed in chocolate this isn't mm -hmm. this is you're getting a lot of just the the white cookie and the only place you're getting the chocolate is in the center with that mint but you would think from the flavor that's coming up that's coming from it you would think it was completely covered in chocolate Yeah, because you're getting a nice chocolate Flavor. It tastes and, and just this, like yeah. a Girl Scout thin yeah. mint. It's yeah. really nice. 
I, I, I wouldn't buy them all the time because I don't like mint all the time, but I would right. definitely buy those again. Mint isn't one of those. I like, yes, I like it. I think they're excellent quality. Uh, I like the texture. Um, not one thing wrong with them, but like Kevin, mint's not something I crave all the time. Right. Um, I don't these anytime. Yes, and I can only imagine that I bet you, I'm sure, that, and, and now I probably won't buy them now. <laughs> uh, there's no reason to. But I'm sure the milk chocolate would have been mm -hmm. just as wonderful since those are so good. Yeah. Um, so I know I know which one you're picking. The, the one. <laughs> um, I think yeah. I'm going to pick those two. Yeah, either one of the doozies I like. And, um, and like I said, it, like Hannah said, if you could have gotten the third one, we probably would have liked that one as well. Oh, so. yeah. I think you all, uh, if you can find the doozies, <laughs> um, I think you're going to love the texture. Mm -hmm. These, um, like I said, they put them in the back. They haven't gotten them back in. So it's not like you can get them in the, in the cookie aisle, at least not right now. Uh, they're not even in the cookie aisle. Please so not in ours. Not, no, not in our fresh market. But look, they might be. And if you see them anywhere else, you know, that's something too. When we were trying to find the milk chocolate, every single store we would go in, we would look for Dewey's. And it's amazing to us how many stores do not carry them at all. Um, a lot. A lot. Most of the stores don't. <laughs> yeah, they do not. So, um, I do hope you uh, have more luck finding them than we did. Uh, hopefully, they're they're uh, in your area. These come out of uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Not very far from us at all. So, you would think we would, we would have gotten them real mm -hmm. quick, but we didn't. So, um, I do like the Tate's. You're going to have to be a coffee lover to enjoy them. Yeah. So, just like know that. Yeah. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.